Hey everyone, so today I'm going to start my daily vlog. Sorry my dog is right here. She had to be in the video and she's laying on my knees and now she's getting down. Hey, it's okay. So this is Chloe. Um, it's Sunday, June 19th. It's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there or to anyone out there. I don't, I don't know. Happy Father's Day. Um, and today is also a very special day for me. It's my one year YouTube anniversary on my main channel for my beauty channel. Um, I got 400 subscribers in a year, which a lot of people think is not that much, but I think it's kind of a lot because, I mean, if 400 people were standing in front of me right now, I'd be very overwhelmed. Um, so, yes, today is my one year. Um, well, I've had my account since March 17th, 2010, but I put up my first video on June 19th, so whatever you want to call it. I just say my one year is June 19th. But anyways, so I'm just going to tell you guys what I did today, I guess. So first, well, my stepmom's parents were in town. So um, we usually go to church when I'm at my dad's house and when I'm at my mom's house. But um, Chloe, but um, we didn't today because my stepmom's parents were in town. And, um, and they, you know, only come like twice a year because they live like 12 hours away. And they drove, so they kind of were just tired of being on the road, and they just wanted to, like, stay at home after driving that far. Um, so they didn't go to church. My friend Brittany, who is going to college this year, coming up, she um, took me to her church, and I really liked it. And I wore this really cute dress um, that I wish I was still wearing for this video, but, I mean, it's kind of uncomfortable, so I decided to change clothes, of course. Then I went home and played with my little sister for a while, and then she took her nap. She's one. And then I got on the computer and tried to sync my iPod to my computer, but for some reason it failed. This is my iPhone, and I have, like, the oldest iPod Nano there is. It's, like, the really, really old one. Um, and I got it for my 10th birthday, so that's how old it is. But, um, so I'm trying to think what else. So after I did that, I drove with my great-grandmother um, back to where I live because we're... My dad's house is, is where I lived until I was six years old, and my grandmother, my great-grandmother used to live there, um, but she moved here, where I live, so it's two hours away, so she goes there a lot every weekend, um, just to, like, go home and visit and stuff, and usually I just ride with her and go to my dad's, because, I mean, it's easier than, like, meeting halfway, my dad and my mom having to both drive, if my grandmother's already going there anyway, I just call her my grandmother. I don't really call her my great grandmother every time I say her name, but um, yeah. So I drew, I drove home. I just got home. I haven't done anything, and it's like three in the afternoon. And um, on the way there, I got a milkshake and a biscuit, a chocolate milkshake and a butter biscuit, and it was really good. Um, and I fell asleep. I drank my milkshake for a little bit, and then I listened to music, and I fell asleep for the whole ride home. So now I'm, like, really, like, uh, like out of it, tired. Um, but anyways, so tonight, I need to go unpack my stuff, and uh, I'm going to clean my makeup brushes. I think that's why my face has been breaking out. I don't know if you can tell, like, over here and right here. My face is breaking out a lot, and um, I think it's because I haven't cleaned my makeup brushes in forever. And when you don't clean your makeup brushes, sorry, my eye itches. When you don't clean your makeup brushes... And you've already used your makeup, like, especially if you use, like, a concealer brush and you put concealer on the brush and then put it on a blemish and then just wipe the concealer off and then put the brush back in your brush holder and then use it again the next day to cover up a different blemish. You're transferring the bacteria from one blemish to a different blemish. So it's, like, making both worse, if you see what I'm saying. Um, so I think I should go clean my makeup brushes. And tonight I'm going to eat dinner and probably make a video for my main channel, of course, because it's my one year anniversary. Um, my dog is, like, freaking out, sorry. And, um, and then I'll probably go to bed or something or watch TV. Tomorrow The Bachelorette comes on, which I'm so excited about. I love The Bachelorette. And, um, I know who wins, which kind of sucks, but, I mean, you could, you could expect it anyway. I'm not going to say it on here, but, um, I forgot, oh, I, never mind, I didn't forget his name, but, um, I, I kind of wanted him to win anyway, I think they're really good together, so, if I give away any hints, sorry, um, and I kind of feel bad for Bentley, not in a, like, I mean, I know he was very rude to Ashley, what he did, um, basically, 
if you don't watch The Bachelorette, he was on there and he figured that Emily or Chantel would be the Bachelorette, but it was actually Ashley, and um, he was not attracted to her at all. He just thought that she was hot, I think, and they like made out or something one time, and then, I mean, he would have won if he would have stayed. He would have won because she was just so clingy to him and she was all over him. And she fell way too fast for him and way too hard, way too fast. And um, he kept saying stuff like, I don't like her at all. You know, this is one big mess because I don't like her and stuff like that. And then he told her that he was leaving because he missed his daughter. That was rude. I can see where he'd leave if he didn't like her. If he would have just told her, hey, I'm sorry, but I just don't want to end up marrying you if I'm not attracted to you. Because you don't want to marry someone that you don't love. And, uh, but he should not have lied about it. That was very ridiculous of him. And it was very ridiculous how he acted. But, um, I can kind of see where he was coming from for leaving. Because, I mean, if he would have married her, he would have been unhappy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, okay. So, Tuesday, Pretty Little Liars comes on. I'm so excited about Pretty Little Liars. Um, oh my gosh. I, I don't know who A is, so don't tell me. If anyone knows, I know some people know. But I don't know. So I'm just, I'm ready to find out, but I mean, I'm not ready to know right now. I'm ready for, I mean, do you guys think Ian is alive? Because I kind of do, because they sent that text about their baby, about um, Spencer's sister's baby. They're naming it Taylor, and Ian, um, Spencer was texting Ian on her sister's phone, and she was like, what are we naming our baby? And he was like, Taylor, and it was like the real him. Everyone thinks, they think. And I think, but I just, I don't know. I'm so excited to find out if it was him or not. And I'm really scared. But um, if any of you watch Pretty Little Liars, I don't know what I'm going to say. But anyways, I'm really excited for that to come on. And I guess that's all. That was seven minutes of, like, me talking about random stuff that no one probably cared about. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. I'm going to try to do these daily. I'm uh, not promising anything. But uh, I'm going to try. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next vlog, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.